Hey Polish peeps, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, joining me for the first time, hello. My name is Ebony and super happy to have you join me today. Today is a wish list video for Polish Pickup November. Um, you guys, my wish list is always extensive. I cannot, I just cannot, I, I need to narrow way, way, way down, way, 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 way down. Um, when I first saw the polishes for this month, I thought to myself, oh, this is a, this is going to be not so bad. Like, it's not going to be 20 items on my wish list. I kept going back. I kept making changes. <sighs> I've seen swatches. And now it is 20 strong, at least. So, since it is that many polishes on my wish list, I want to go ahead and get started. I'm going to list all the information about Polish Pickup below in the description box. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Let's chat about it. Um, this month's theme is game night. I almost forgot there for a minute. <laughs> so all of the inspiration is centered around games um, or game related things. Uh, so super fun theme. These polishes um, are amazing. These makers knock it out of the park every single time. So let's get started talking about the polishes. If you guys have not downloaded or installed the um, new Polish Pickup um, app, I totally think you should. It's a little bit easier to navigate through than the website, I feel like. So, of course, you know, there'll probably be some kinks to work out because it is new. But so far, I'm kind of liking it. So, the first one up on my wish list is Bees Knees Lacquer. Be beware of winter's cold. Y'all. Yeah. Winter is coming. This polish looks like it's going to be perfect for winter. Beezy's Lacquer, they always have pretty good formulas. Um, for the most part, I like them. Some of them are a little sheer, but this one doesn't look like it is too sheer. Um, maybe will be a three-coater, but look how pretty that is on the nails. Y'all, this is going to be perfect winter polish. It is priced at $13.00. Um, it is inspired by Dementor from our current favorite game, Hades. And this is described as a pale blue based pastel multichrome, which shifts from silver to pink to green. Y'all, I'm all about this shift. I'm trying to show you accurate pictures. There it is, kind of shifting green to pink or pink to green, however you want to look at it. Um, and I'm all about a shifty polish, you guys. This excuse me, looks really pretty. Um, here's some more swatches of that one on different skin tones. You guys, that's really pretty. Um, if you're not aware, some of these polishes are some, not the polishes, you guys, sorry. The makers are, um, having problems getting, um, supplies for polishes shipped to them. Um, there have been late orders, orders not showing up, orders getting lost, all kinds of issues. So there are caps on polishes that there normally wouldn't be. And some of the ones that might have had a higher cap are forced to have a lower cap this month. It's just what it is. So I say that to say if um, you want to get a polish that's capped, get in there and get it. This one does not appear to be um, on the site, so that's a good thing. Um, that gives you a little bit more, you know, wiggle room to not miss out on this one if you are wanting to pick this one up. Um, again, that's priced at $13. Beware of Winter's Cold from Bees Knees Lacquer. Next, you guys, I have been really loving um, Vanessa Molina's uh, magnetic polishes. They are just so pretty to me. She has been like really coming with it with these magnetic polishes and they're the magnetic pigment in them just like it's very strong like it's very strong um and there's just like a rainbow across your nails with these polishes y'all i'm drawn to them every single time um so this is by vanessa molina blooming priced at 13 dollars um it is inspired by poison ivy on injustice game and it is um described as uh, an amazing multi-chrome magnetic polish, orange golden with a turquoise purple orange background and iridescent micro flakes. Um, it's capped at 100. I have been 
I want to say buying Vanessa Molina's magnetics, just like almost every polish pickup for like the last three or four months. Um, they are just really pretty. And I'm, I'm just like, ooh, what is this? <laughs> Rainbow on the nails. Look how pretty that is. It is also, if you guys are not familiar with how magnetic polishes work, um, it is kind of a learning curve trying to get, you know, that precise line across your nail and getting it to stay there is kind of a, a learning curve. Also, it makes applying the polish take a little bit longer, but totally worth it. I'm telling you, totally worth it, especially with these polishes right here. And I don't know what's going on with my lighting. Sorry about that. You guys, really? <laughs> Like what? Here it is on a darker skin tone. Oh my god. I'm so drawn. I'm I'm so drawn to this one. I don't know you guys. This is just gorgeous to me. Um I don't mind spending a little extra time on a mani if it looks like this. I'm just saying. So again, that is by Vanessa Molina Blooming, priced at $13 with a 500 bottle cap. Next I have Flores de Carol. This was kind of a toss-up for me. Um, I love a deep, dark, vampy polish. I hardly ever can pass it up. So I was like, ugh, because I have another one on my wish list too, but I couldn't. I had to put it on here. Um, this is Every Letter Counts, priced at $12.50, and it is inspired by Scrabble Deluxe Edition board game. And it is described as a blackened, multi-chrome, red with iridescent chameleon flakes, um, there are 300 bottles available of this one. Y'all, this is so vampy on the nails. Look how amazing it looks matted up. I love a dark vampy polish matted up. It's just so pretty, but it's also gorgeous with a glossy top coat. I mean, it's just doing all the things for my soul right now. I also think this will be really pretty around Christmas time. I mean, it's pretty right now. Like it's perfect for fall. It's just, it's like hitting my heart right now. Like really, really hard. Um, and these swatches are amazing, of course. So pretty. So if you like a deep, dark VMB polish like me, you might want to snag this one. Chloris de Carol um, always has amazing formulas. You guys are going to hear me say that about these makers like over and over and over again, because it's just the truth. Um, and that's just what it is. So price at $12.50 with a 300 bottle cap. That is Chloris de Carol, every letter counts. Next I have, I'm going to go through all the polishes. I also have some non-polish related items on here as well. Um, but I'll get to those at the end. This next maker, you guys, oh my gosh, I am starting to really love me some Kathleen and Co. I mean... I don't even know what I was doing with my life before they came into my life. <laughs> I could say that about a lot of makers, but this um, polish right here is so pretty. It's gorgeous. Um, so this is King Me, price at twelve fifty. Um, so it's inspired by Checkers, y'all. This polish is perfect. Like that's the exact thing I think of when I look at this polish. Um, so it's described as a bright red curly with black flakes, which doesn't sound so amazing. You know, you're just like, oh, that's pretty, but y'all, um, I mean, it's, it's, whew. let me show you guys, because I have to show you. This also looks amazing matte. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love this one so much. I love the jelly base. Um. I can tell you it's not coming off of my wish list. <laughs> I'm definitely going to snag this one. I have been, um, Kathleen & Co. is another one that I've been just like really getting every polish pickup probably for the last three or four months. Um, <clears throat> they are just really drawing me in every polish pickup. I'm sorry, you guys, like <clears throat> I have some allergy things going on right now. So um, pardon my constant throat clearing. Here this is on a darker skin tone. Um, Y'all, this it matte right here oh my gosh that's so pretty oh my gosh so pretty i'm trying really hard not to whisper like oh my gosh oh my god it's so pretty oh it's amazing <laughs> i was talking to my friend carolina at gotta love polish and she was talking about how she does that in her videos and i find myself doing that sometimes i can't help it y'all 
Oh, so pretty. It also reminds me of strawberries a little bit, but it's going to be perfect for Christmas. I can see it for Christmas. I can just see it for... Oh, I have a lot of ideas with this polish. And it's super unique to my collection. I don't have... I may have maybe one other polish similar to this, but nothing like it. Like nothing super close to it. So, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't, y'all. This one is definitely staying on my wish list and going in my cart. So that's Kathleen and Co. King Me, priced at $12.50. And there is no cap. So that's a plus. If you guys love you some, you know, jelly based with those black shreds in there mm. pick that one up i'm just telling you just pick it up that's all next i have on my list mj lacquer you guys are going to be super surprised because it is a yellow who am i right now <laughs> you guys don't know by now yellow is probably the polish that i have the least in my collection um but they actually look really good on me so I might pick up this one from MJ Lacquer. It is Backgammon Queen, priced at $11.50. Um, it is inspired by a name affectionately given to the maker, Janet, during her college days. Um, it says, while living on campus, we'd spend many weekends having backgammon backgammon tournaments friends would call me the Mac, the backgammon queen because i would literally win most tournaments 95 percent of the time and i enjoyed every minute of strategically earning that title i've never played backgammon so i have no idea really what that game is even about um but this is an orange based shade with a few cafe brown holographic micro glitters iridescent flakes hex glitter and holographic micro flakes um, to me, this does pull a little bit yellow, which is why I say it's yellow, but it has enough orange in it, obviously, because it says an orange base <laughs> to just like, I mean, okay, I will say now looking at these swatches, some of the swatches look more orange than yellow. I think it looks kind of similar to another polish that I have from MJ Lacquer. From back in the day when I swatched for her and that polish um, is called Be Kind. It's more orange than Be Kind um, from these swatches but it's still gorgeous and um, I just love MJ Lacquer's formulas. Always really good. Um, I really love her sheerer polishes I guess I should say with the jelly base. Those are amazing. And this one kind of looks like it, but it does look like it. You'd probably get this one opaque in two coats. Y'all, that's so pretty. Um, <laughs> I think this one would be polished. Uh, this polish would be good for spring and summer because it just reminds me, even though it's not yellow, it kind of reminds me of like sunshine on the nails. Or maybe it just reminds me of like that orange base with like the sun shining on it i don't know it's just it's just pretty so if you have not tried an mj lacquer um, polish before and you are interested in trying her and you like orange polish you might want to pick this one up price at 11 50 and it has a super low cap you guys it's capped at 115 so highly recommend if you want this one snag it first thing first instant you get into the site you'll want to pick that one up because I feel like this one's going to come close to selling out as well um next I have never mind um I'm gonna say this wrong never mind apothecary I think I'm saying that right eye of the beholder price at $13 inspired by D&D &D beholder Sometimes I feel kind of like, I don't know, like I've been living under a rock sometimes with some of these inspirations because I'm like, what even is that? I haven't been living under a rock. I just, I don't know. Um, this is described as a teal curly with red, orange, gold, multi-chrome flakes and a strong red, orange, gold, Aurora shimmer. 
Um, this is capped at 250. Y'all, this is a really pretty. I'm all about a teal. Um, and I want to say I don't have a whole lot of teal polishes or like polishes in the teal family in my collection, even though I really like them. They just aren't one of those colors I think that, you know, is readily available a lot. Yes, people make teals, but they make more blues and reds and pinks um, for whatever reason. But this one is really pretty. I love the flakies in this one. Um, that teal base is just gorgeous. And um, these swatches are amazing. I think this one looks good on both dark and light skin tones. I really love this one matte as well. However, um, due to the fact that I probably could not wear this until spring, I may pass on this one. I say I couldn't wear it until spring. I wear whatever I want, but, um, I probably would not get to wear this one until spring. So maybe I will pass on this one, but if you love a teal polish with gorgeous, um, shifting flakies, you might want to snag this one. It has a kind of low cap, $250, price at $13. Eye of the Beholder from Nevermind Apothecary. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, next, I have Night Owl Lacquer, another brand I really enjoy. Um, Y'all, I have this thing that happens to me. Like, I will just you know, have my heart star stop or like, it, like there's like a, like a, you know, moment that y'all don't actually experience because I don't let it come out. But that's actually what happens within me whenever I'm looking at <laughs> these swatches. Um, and it's not like I haven't seen them before, but it's just like when I look at them again, I'm like, oh my God, this is so pretty. I may have to have this one. It's going to be perfect for fall. I mean, I could even get away with it for winter. It is gorgeous um the name of it is wordy birdie priced at 1260 um which is kind of an odd price normally it's like 1250 but you know whatever um it is inspired by the game a little wordy word type games are her favorites um i've never played that game either never even heard of it but now i kind of want to this is a gray tinged with blue filled no, no, no. Let me see if I can read this right. This is a gray tinge with blue filled with black, red, copper, gold flakes. There's no cap on this one, which is fabulous because you guys, oh my gosh. Look at this. That is so pretty. Gray is, um, and this is kind of like a still gray, I would say, base. Um, like, I really love that this has, like, a little bit of blue in it because it's, like, just the right amount of blue um, to make this gray stunning for me. Those flakies are gorgeous, laying in that um, blue-gray or gray-blue base. And oh, this just looks amazing, y'all. Night Owl Lacquer also does amazing formulas. Um... It's another brand that I purchase from quite often. It's another brand that I'm drawn to a lot of the time on Polish Pickup. And this just looks stunning. I don't even know. I, I just, wow, so pretty. <sighs> you would think that I cannot pass up a polish that makes my heart go <gasps> or makes me catch my breath. So that's probably what's going to happen. This one is going in my cart. So that is Wordy Birdie from Night Owl Lacquer, priced at $12.60 with no cap. If your heart went pitter-patter, you know, skipped a beat, or if you drew your breath in when you looked at that one, put it in your cart. That's all I got to say. Um, next, I have a Palish Polish. I always think I say that wrong, too. But this is Shoots and Ladders, priced at $13. Another pretty, you know popular brand for me to purchase or gravitate towards. Inspired by Vintage Shoots and Ladders board, it is described as a bright periwinkle with tons of pink, red, copper, green iridescent flakes. There's no cap on this one. Um, 
I don't have a lot of periwinkle polishes in my collection. That's one of the things that kind of also draws me towards polishes when I'm trying to decide whether to keep it on my wish list or whether to put it in my cart. Is it unique to my collection? Periwinkle is not a common shade. Yes, you know, um, makers do make polishes in periwinkle. It doesn't happen very often. I don't feel like it does. Um, so I don't have a lot of periwinkle polishes in my collection. I may have, I don't know, five. And not, you know, to tell you guys how many polishes I own, but it's a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is definitely drawing me in. You guys look at this, those flakies. That periwinkle base is so pretty. Again, this I feel like is more of a spring or summer polish. Um, but y'all, these are flakies. I am all about the flakies. I'm all about bling. I'm all about shift. This is just gorgeous. Um, this is definitely one of my top five <laughs> on my wish list for this month. Um, so if you don't have a lot of periwinkle in your collection and you want to try a polish polish and you have not tried them before, again, another brand, amazing formulas, um, price at $13 is a good price point and there's no cap. So again, if your heart did a thing when you saw this one, put it in your cart. Um, next I have this one and i'm on the fence about this one mostly because there's only one swatch of it it is a pretty swatch but it's not just like it's not making my heart do that pitter patter thing um <clears throat> but it's pretty it was pretty enough to make it to my wish list i should say um so this is painted polish hill to the queen price at 12.50 i wish there were more swatches of this because i would like to see how this looks on darker skin tones um and that may deter me from buying it just because I have had that happen to me a lot, you know, where I just see a polish and impulsively buy it and then I get it and I'm like, uh, and then I have to give it away. But I will say this polish actually is pretty close to the polish I have on my fingers right now. So maybe I can use that as a reference. Um, but again, price at $12.50 and it is capped at $3.50. It is inspired by psychedelic purple and orange chest set. Don't think I've ever seen that, but Sounds kind of cool. Tiger Orange Crelly with Purple Metallic Flakies. Um, and like I said, it kind of looks like the polish I have on my hands. I will kind of show you guys as a reference. So this is the polish. And let's see if I can get... This is the polish I'm wearing now. So yeah, super close. This one looks a little bit like a... Like the, you know, the polish I'm wearing now looks a little warmer than the one in this swatch. But I really like the flakies in this polish too. Um, they're purple, so you know, my jam. Um, so you know, if you have an interest in that one, you might want to pick that one up. Painted polish, you know, really good formulas. Um, so that one's priced again at twelve fifty with a three three hundred and fifty bottle cap. Next, I have, I feel like I'm getting out of breath, you guys. <laughs> Paradox Polish. Um, it is called We Got Mad Skills, priced at $11. Um, it is described as a tri-thermal and a chunky glitter. I don't have that combination in a polish. I don't feel like. I mean, I have thermals with, you know, um flakies and glitter i don't think i have any with what i would consider a chunky glitter and this is so dang cute you guys it's cute um described as a purple dark blue to light blue glitter bomb the inspiration is we play all sorts of games from electronic to board games to cards that's true i used to be a mad gamer you guys i had mad skills now that i'm a little older i'm not gonna tell you how much older but just a little bit my skills are not on point like they used to be, but I still enjoy playing all kinds of games <laughs> when I have time in my schedule. But this is really cute. I love the transition on this one. Um, and it, that chunky glitter is like getting me so pretty. The glitter combination here is really cute too. I really like those, um, you know, the like 
light blue glitters and there's dark blue glitters it's just a really cute glitter combination um paradox polish i have several of those polishes as well and really good formula i'm a sucker for a jelly base anyway so this is definitely calling me and it is you know purple and blue and light blue like all of the colors that i love <laughs> um so of course you know the purple's calling me and those glitters are calling me definitely in the top five you guys when i keep saying in the top five eventually it's gonna be top 10. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen we're gonna try to keep that from happening but this is really pretty so that's paradox polish we got mad skills priced at 11 dollars and there's no cap on here so we're gonna assume there's no cap um next i have phoenix oh my gosh i'll start so many phoenix um the name is nightshade priced at 13 dollars Spoiler alert, I haven't done my polish pickup um, haul video from the last two polish pickups, but I did pick up another um, polish from Phoenix um, in, oh gosh, there it is, y'all. <sighs> that was it. Um, anyway, I did pick up um, a polish from Phoenix from last month's, it was either last month's or months before, month before last polish pickup. Um, and it is gorgeous. So super excited to get that on the nails when I can. But I'm also all about what I'm looking at right now. Price at $13. Inspired by Pokemon Bannet. I think I'm saying that right. Pokemon, ba Pokemon Bannet. Um, Nightshade it has a purple jelly base. Filled with strong mix of Aurora flakies and micro flakies. Orange, red, gold, green, and hollow micro flakies. All the flakies are definitely getting me. Um, it's capped at 500. So that's a pretty high cap. But mm, it's a good thing it's a pretty high cap. Because you guys. This purple beauty right here. And look at this shift right here in the bottle. How pretty is that? That's gorgeous. Um, this looks like a really amazing formula and of course the purple is calling me, um, here it is kind of being all shifty. Look at all those shifts y'all. That's really pretty. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a struggle. You guys, it's a struggle. I really love this one. I may pass on this one only because I just recently purchased from this brand and I like to try and spread the love, you know? Um, so we will see if it stays and makes it into my cart. But that's Phoenix Nightshade, priced at $13 with a 500 bottle cap. Next, I have this one I'm on the fence about. This is Polish Molish. I have um, actually, again, I think either last Polish pickup, last month's Polish pickup, or month before that, I, pol I purchased a Polish Molish Polish. Um, that was a lot to try to pronounce <laughs> so i may pass on this one but it's really pretty um it made it to my wish list just because oh you guys are gonna see um this is yeti on the roof priced at 13 dollars, and it is a pale lavender shade with bright pink shimmer and black flakes um the inspiration for this polish is not listed on here but it doesn't look like there's a cap um and of course it's a lavender so that's purple and it has this gorgeous shimmer going on here that is so pretty there's the shimmer there here's another picture with that shimmer which is not really coming across you can kind of see it a little bit it's really prettier looking at it on my phone right now um there it is on a darker skin tone that's really pretty here it is on a lighter skin tone with that shimmer I really like that shimmer. It's really pretty. Um, is it enough for me to purchase it? I don't know. I don't know that it'll make it into the top five. I can say that, but it's really pretty. Um, and the flakies are pretty in here too. So that's Yeti on the Roof Polish Molish for $13. Um, it's a low cap. There's only 78 of these available. So if you want to try a Polish Molish, Polish, <laughs> um, and you like, this lavender shade you might want to snag that one really fast with the 78 bottle cap 
Um, that one may not last long because it is gorgeous. Um, next is Polish for Days, another brand. You guys, a lot of times I can't pass up. This is another one of those times. I can already tell you, I'm not going to be able to pass it up. This is As You Pass Go, priced at $12.50, inspired by Monopoly, the longest game ever. I always feel myself growing really old when I play Monopoly because it just goes on and on and on and on. And I'm just like, somebody win already. <laughs> um, and I always get roped into it. My kids always rope me into paying it. So I'm like, okay, fine. We'll just grow old together. But this is a mint green curly base with purple, pink, gold, shifting chrome flakes. You guys. <gasps> mm, I can't even tell you guys. My heart is going pitter patter. Look at those gorgeous purple flakes. This is also a pretty unique color green for me. Don't think I have anything super close to this color green in my collection. I mean, the, uh, probably the closest thing I could think of it is maybe um, Orly's Vintage. It kind of reminds me of that color green a little bit. This looks a little darker, a little warmer toned. Um, right off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else, but I mean, Vintage is an amazing green shade, so if it's close to that, Vintage looks good on everybody. <laughs> Highly recommend Orly's Vintage if you don't have that one. Um, oh, this is just so pretty. I am blown away by this, and these swatches are so pretty. Oh. Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. So um back to these gorgeous swatches of polish for days um as you pass go y'all this looks so pretty on long nails look how pretty that is and then i would never get my nails this long but that is gorgeous <laughs> those flakies y'all this swatch right here that's amazing i love those purple flakies you guys i'm just I can't even tell you. Um, definitely in my top five or ten. Polish for days as you go, as you pass go, price at $12.50. There's no cap. So that's awesome for that one. Um, next, oh, and again, if you haven't tried a polish for days polish, now might be your time. It might be. This one I was also on the fence about because as far as colors go, um, this, you know, it's green and I don't, okay. I'm about to say I don't normally gravitate towards green, but I already showed you guys two green ones on my, <laughs> on my wish list. So it just depends on the type of green, but Sassy Sauce, um, is another brand that I've really been enjoying. When I went to the Polish Expo, I picked up a ton of Sassy Sauce polishes. Um, but this one is Itty Bitty Tiddly Committee. I think that's, that's, I think I'm saying that right. Um, and it's priced at $12.50, inspired by Tiddly Winks, another game I've never played. This is a dark green thermal with glowy red gold shifting shimmer and black red multi-chrome flakies that fades to colorless and just glows even brighter. As a kid, we used to just love this game named, named by Mary Sandberg. Um, I really think for this particular polish, it is the shimmer for me and the fact that it goes kind of clear. I really love that in a thermal. So this definitely is checking some boxes for me. Um, you know, saucy, sassy sauce has a really good formula. I just saw this swatched on YouTube. I don't remember who swatched it, but I was just like, ooh. Because <laughs> I, I had it on my wish list and then I took it off and then when I saw it swatched, I put it back on. It's just really pretty. It's also perfect for fall. So I feel like it would be perfect for now. Of course, by the time I get it, we'll be into winter and, you know, it may be next year before I wear this one if I decide to get this one, but it's gorgeous. Don't know if it's gonna make my top 10, but definitely, um, you know, definitely re really pretty polish. So, um, if you wanna try Sassy sauce, sauce Polish, you might wanna pick that one up. That's Itty Bitty Tiddly Committee 
um, and it's capped at 500 so that's a pretty high cap you should be able to snag that one um, next I have Stella Chroma this is a white polish um, I don't have a lot of white polishes in my collection because I don't paint my nails white a lot normally if I use white it's as a you know like a, for nail art or something like that I don't like just painting my nails just a plain white hardly ever so it has to have something in it <laughs> you know, flakies or something glitter whatever um this one has flakies and it's gorgeous um and because I don't have a lot of white polishes I always feel um like the need to buy a white polish that has something extra going on because I'm like, okay, I need to add that to my collection. So I'm always drawn to them when I see them. Um, so this is Don't Break the Ice, priced at $13. Um, inspired by the game, Don't Break the Ice. Um, actually, break the ice. Just don't the little man fall. I don't, I don't really... Maybe y'all understand, but that's just, that's what it says. <laughs> Inspired by one of the few games my brother and I could play as kids and not end up in a fight. Don't Break the Ice is a smooth white, white crelly with banging iridescent red, blue flakies and green shimmer. They are banging for sure. Like that is an accurate description of this polish. It is so pretty with those flakies in that white base. You guys, um, that's gorgeous. I really like this one a lot. Um, will it make the top five? I don't know. Or the top ten? I don't know. I feel like I need it. Um, but last polish pickup, I picked up another white. So I may be able to pass on this one. We'll see. Um, and I want to say the last white that I picked up was another... No, it wasn't Stella Chroma. It was another brand. Um, but Stella Chroma has amazing formulas. I say that over and over again. It does sound repetitive, but it's the truth. So we'll see if I keep needing to have it. Um, so that is Don't Break the Ice, price at $13. And there's no cap. I kind of said like a lot of these people that didn't that normally don't have caps will have caps, but um <laughs> apparently the ones I put on my wish list, I'm it's kind of making me sound like a liar, but you know, I just I don't know. It's, that's just the way it is. Um, this is another dark Van B polish. What Addiction Greedy Goblins. Priced at $13. What Addiction is another brand that I purchased a couple times. It's a newer brand. They do seem to me to have really good formulas. Um, I actually just recently tried one off of my fall rack that was really pretty. And I really enjoyed wearing that one. Um, so it says, I took inspiration from the game Greedy Greedy Goblins, a game where you as a goblin collect as much loot as possible. Loot consistently of gems and coins, but watch out for the dynamite. Another game I've never played. I feel like, you know, I haven't lived my life. Like I need to play all these games. <laughs> um, it's described as a maroon base with micro holographic flakes, UCC flake, a touch of orange and purple flake, and a sprinkling of gold and green micro holographic glitters. Um, low cap of 150, but y'all, this is really pretty matted up. Look how pretty that is. Um, and here's a shot of it with a glossy top coat. That is gorgeous with a glossy top coat too. I, y'all, this watch right here, this might have sold me. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Y'all. <laughs> it's pretty oh, I love it um I don't know I don't know you guys I mean do y'all feel what I feel I feel like I need to like make y'all feel what I feel I'm feeling it way down deep in my soul it's a deep connection to these polishes y'all I know y'all feel me I don't know this is it's really pretty I need y'all's help again. I didn't think I was gonna need y'all's help this time. I thought maybe it would be a little easier this month to narrow down, but it's proving not to be. So I need y'all's help. Um, so let me know down below if you think I should keep this one on because it's got a low cap. So if I want it, I'm gonna have to get in and snag it fast. Um, but I don't know, it does something to me. 
That is Greedy Goblins from What Addiction, priced at $13. We are, I think, at the last polish. Um, this is Zombie Claw. I, I'll be a guitarist. This one I'm on the fence about. I'm not sure if it's unique enough to my collection. It's priced at $12. Um, it is a rockin' purple blue with hollow flakies, which you guys know I'm all about like blue or blurple polishes. Um, this is really pretty. Inspired by Rock Band. Um, and there's only a hundred available, so hmm. Phallic. That's gorgeous. I think it's the, you know, kind of blurple base for me that's drawing me to this one, but I don't think it will make my top 10 because it's not super unique to my collection. I have polishes that are similar to this in a similar color base. So I don't know, just, you know, it's on my wish list because it's really pretty. And, you know, if I was going to buy all the polishes, I would definitely include this one. <clears throat> but it may not make it to my cart. So if you are interested in trying a Zombie Claw polish, I do have... Not too many Zombie Claws, kind of a newer brand to me, um, but I've tried a couple of them. Again, really good formulas, um, so you might want to try them. So if you do, it's a low cap, 100 available, definitely get in there quick. So that is Zombie Claw, I'll be the guitarist, priced at $12. Okay, now we are going to talk about my non-polished items. One of them is this Peel Off Base Coat by Vanessa Molina. I am a swatcher. I use Peel Off Base Coats when I swatch. This one has really been working well for me. Um, I purchased the first bottle and then somehow I ended up breaking it. Right now I can't remember how I did that, but immediately I was like, oh no, because it, it's been working really amazing for me. So I purchased another one um, and I'm using that right now. It is, you know, it's, it's, it's not about halfway, ooh, focus, about halfway down yet. So, you know, I got a little bit before I run out of that one, but I feel like I need a backup. So I may pick another one up um, just because I use it so often. And I've used other peel off base coats and they just haven't been working as well for me as this one. So here's some pictures of that one. Um kind of working there and I promise you guys if you need a good peel off base coat if you're a swatcher or if you just you know change your nails often like I do um like many of us do it is really amazing it dries really quick I mean it dries in like probably less than a minute um and if you're just swatching and you want to immediately take it the polish off it's perfect you just do one thin layer you let it dry um, and then you apply, you apply your favorite nail polish. This is last up to four days. I never keep it on my nails for four days. I will never wear a polish unless I just don't have the opportunity to paint my nails for four days. But in case you need a peel off base coat that will last for four days, this one says it will. Um, and it's, it's amazing. I really like this one. So if y'all are looking for a good peel off base coat, you might want to consider that one. I also have KB Shimmers. Now, I'm not going to get this. I really, really want it, but my girlfriend will freaking kill me because I buy all of the KB Shimmer sugar scrubs, um, and then I just always forget to use them. So I have currently, I think, three, maybe four of her sugar scrubs, and I have not, like, I have not completed a sugar scrub yet, but this one is peppermint. Y'all, it's peppermint scented. <laughs> it's peppermint. I want it so bad. It looks so amazing um and i have used them i just i always forget to use them i have used them don't get me wrong they are good um but i haven't used one up because i forget to use one use them on multiple occasions when i should be using them but when i've used them they work really good they smell amazing like i think i have a caramel apple one um like a unicorn scented one i think um, and then another scent. So I think I only have three. Maybe I need four. Maybe I will get it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't resist. Um, peppermint. It is peppermint. I may have to get it. If you're looking for a really good sugar scrub, KB Shimmer makes really good ones. It comes in like this sealed container. So it won't, you know, um, leak or whatever in transit. It's priced at $10, which is a good, like I think I have one here that I got. 
from Polish Pickup. This one is Warm Apple Cider. So it's a really good size container for $10 and they're just amazing. So I haven't opened this one if that tells you anything. <laughs> um, so if you like the scent of peppermint and you need a good sugar scrub, definitely highly recommend KB Shimmer's Sugar Scrubs. Um, let's see. And lastly, I have this Express Drying Spray in Lemon Blossom and Sea Mist from Baroness X. I have never used a drying spray. I've used like the drying drop, the drying drops, but this says you can, um, <clears throat> it says you can spray one to two times over the tips of each hand to speed the outer layer for drying. Um, and that's all you do. So it's great when you're in a rush, like when you, you know, you have like 15 minutes to do your mani um, and it's a fine mist. So you can reach all of your nails on one hand in one to two sprays. And it, it's a tiny bottle. Like it looks like it's maybe the size of um, like this is a um, acetone antidote, but it looks like it's in one of these size bottles. But if it's a really thin mist, you know, you could probably make that last quite a while um and I must watch you guys I don't have time to wait for my polishes to dry all the time and sometimes I'm impatient and when I'm impatient sometimes they're not dry all the time and then I mess them up when I'm trying to do the pose for the swatch so swatchers out there you guys know the struggle I might try this um it's priced at $6.25 so I might get two of them just in case I really like it um it says we don't recommend using this product between coats. Um, so use only after your last coat. I mean, I'm going to try it. Like, I feel like this might really help me in my swatching process. Um, so if you guys are interested, you might want to try it as well. Um, that's definitely going in my cart. Just FYI. So that is Baroness X Express Drying Spray. Um, price at $6.25. Okay, we have come to the end of our list. 47 minutes and counting. That's about average for me. If you guys have been watching my wishlist videos for a while, about 45 minutes <clears throat> to an hour, that's normally about how long it takes me to go through my wish list every month. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed my wish list and hopefully you guys are making wish lists of your own i hope some of this information helps you make a decision about polishes you want to put on your wish list um i will put descriptions of polish pickup in the in the box below for you guys if i can remember sometimes i don't remember all the things but i will try um and that's it for this video so if you're joining me for the first time Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so you can get notifications about future videos. And yeah, let's let's do this polish pickup thing, you guys. <laughs> thank you for joining me, and I will hopefully see all of you in the next video. Bye.